here. I feel like when I walked into the space, it was very much a Saturday daytime, walking past people in pubs, and I now feel like it's a Saturday evening. We, we've got, I feel like I'm at, in a festival tent, we've got a tree with lights on. Basically, I just really need a gin right now. <laughs> I'm going to fix it afterwards. <laughs> Reality aside, last night I turned into a field of unzipped tents. I found the edge and jumped off just to see where it led. I'm still falling in a year I'm yet to live. How can I take anybody's hand and say, come with me to this place that is not secure, but if you fall for long enough, you'll become weightless matter. There is a freedom that comes from releasing your accountability, but in a moment when you are outside of yourself, you remember that you will one day soon have to return to it, collect it from the back step like a dog you left out in the rain. These things we own but don't want to anymore. What is the difference between anchors and dead weight? I found fear in a day too bright to avoid, when the sun blazed in a way I was certain I never could. If all is strange and out of step, Learn the new dance. There is a rhythm to this madness. We are hurtling toward a bright procession of possibilities. In an exhibition, I stop by a painting of a young girl slouched, grouchy under a ribbon-filled tree. In the artist's explanation, they state, the portrait considers the hopefulness of youth and subsequent disappointment. If I was with friends, we'd laugh. I am on my own. Resist crying. I keep catching up with people and then letting them run into their slice of life without me. In the place where dawn breaks continuously, I am relearning the properties of light. I used to go hunting for stars in my aunt's farm come back with them between my teeth like the flesh of exotic fruit. We don't have these in the city, I'd say, swallowing them until they settled in my belly before exploding, making me shine outward. I confess more to strangers than to friends. I am discussing poetry and God in a cab with a driver from Bulgaria. If I recorded my conversations with cab drivers, I think I'd be closer to my dreams. I always ask them, where is home, as they drive me to a place that is meant to be mine. The cab driver from Colombia tells me he can see I am kind. I think he's looking too far back in his mirror, sees the girl on my shoulder with gold coins for eyes. All because I chat to you. I understand he has been a closed box for all these years. He asks me to come to Colombia with him. I say, I'm busy Monday, but wait until Tuesday and I am there. In the time continuum, one over from this one, he is serious and I am serious and we live a whole life. I'm telling you this because I'm waiting for the stars to explode. Brace yourself. I'm going to tell you how we scuba dive through the past and find the shipwreck. Rule of thumb. Believe people are good until they prove you wrong. Don't preempt everything ending. In a taster lecture when I was in year 12, a scientist put some liquid nitrogen in a canister. He told us it would explode in 20 minutes, promised we would have forgotten about it by the time it did. We did. All right, I'll stop swallowing stars if you stop smashing light bulbs. We have written poems for this shade of dark. The ones that life pulled out of our nostrils and left to dry like strips of paint. I am more solid than I have ever been. <laughs>